Who's got the number one talk show in Vegas? We do! Can we go out there on the set tonight? We are! We're gonna have a lot of fun doing it! We will! We will! We're in the Philippines on three! One, two, three! We're in the Philippines! Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Keep cool, keep cool. Hey, our next guest not only is a successful financial planner, he's also an MBA agent, a commercial real estate agent, CEO of Sugarman Enterprise, and a political activist. But now he gets the biggest honor of his career and personal life to be interviewed by me. Please welcome David Sugarman. Yes, sir. Hi, everybody. Hey. How's it going? Oh man, if I was any better, I'd be you. Oh, that's thank you. No, one thing at a time. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, um, like I said before, you got a lot of things going on right yeah. now. I, why are you so, why are you stressing me out with all these things that you're doing? <laughs> oh man, because I get bored. You get bored, yeah, so that's why you bored. gotta do I'm more all, things? I'm always looking, you know, I'm always looking for the next best, best thing. Have I you heard of Netflix? That, I heard, I've heard that of it. That clears up But I don't have a smart, you need like smart TV or something, don't you? No, you don't. Oh, Just you get don't? on your phone, it's easy. Got it. I'll tell you after, I'll teach you okay, how to do it Okay, please, afterwards. please, please. Yeah? <laughs> So how did you get started? You started at, at Wall Street. Yeah, I spent 15 years on Wall Street. I was a vice president of seven banks, Deutsche Bank, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, and then managing portfolios for professional athletes. And okay. okay. Opened a management firm in Miami and a sports agency, and the rest is, I'm here today, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay, so you, went, you were managing athletes. Yeah. Then you went into becoming an NBA agent. Correct. To handle that. How'd you get into that? How'd you get involved with that? <clears throat> you know, it was, Managing the portfolios of these kids, you know, hundred million dollar guaranteed deals, yeah. and I would move their, their assets from you know a financial guy to myself at whatever firm I was at, and it would be you know, something like that yeah. I uh, you. into the bank's pocket. We'll talk about that after. My mic's on. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where were we? Man, where were we? A NBA agent. Oh right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Because right. where were we? NBA agent, right, right. <laughs> but these kids were moving their, their, their money into the bank and it was mm -hmm. a fraction of, of what was left. Oh, and yeah. I just couldn't understand how you can go from 100 million to 6 million in 24 months. I mean, yeah. I, could, I could probably figure out a way to do it, but, yeah. Yeah. you know. I could try, I'll try. You'd be, you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. Vegas, we're in Vegas, right everyone? Down here. <laughs> yeah, just a few Apple Watches and we're there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you're an NBA, okay, so you go from Wall Street, now you're an NBA agent. Mm. You're doing both, right? No. 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 Are you done with Wall Street? Street? Done with Wall Street. Finished five. in, uh, I left Merrill Lynch in 2010. Okay, so five years ago you're done. Now you're, done. you're MBA. Um, but now I want to talk a little bit about a guy, Kenneth Bay. Mm. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, and I think there's a few that don't know, who's Kenneth Bay? <laughs> or do you want me to? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think you know that. I don't mean to call you out in front of your people, but. Oh, you want me to say who Kenneth Bay? You tell me. So, Kenneth Bay. <laughs> 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 you guys heard of this place called? North Korea? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Right. We talked about it earlier. Kenneth Bay was an American who was a prisoner in North Korea for about two years. And there was a lot of failed attempts to try and get him out. He was in a, a labor camp. I'll sit back down. I don't want to hog the spotlight, but I ain't going to do the monologue. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So he's, a, he's, a, um, he's an American, but he's a prisoner in North Korea. You want me to tell the story? Yeah, go for it. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't okay. do it. Well. So, so I apologize for that. So, um, <laughs> man. I got you. Yeah. I'm good with the money, I swear. I see. Okay. So, there's a guy by the name of Dennis Rodman. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's a basketball player, had hair, drinks, all that stuff. So, Madonna. That was like 30 years ago, but yes, Madonna. Dudes don't forget. <laughs> so, uh, he went to uh, the DPR, to North Korea to play in a, a birthday uh, charity event, if you call it with you know, Kenny Anderson and a bunch of uh, other NBA guys, or mm -hmm. former NBA guys. Yeah. <clears throat> and Kenny was on, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Dennis was on a, uh, on a show called The Chris Cuomo Show on CNN. Okay. I don't know if you'll remember, he was drinking, and they brought up this guy, Kenny. Dennis Bay. Rodman was drinking? Allegedly. Okay. So, <laughs> it's a very important word, by the way. So, In your industry. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> um, and they, they mentioned a, a gentleman by the name of Kenneth Bay. So I was home, I was drinking, you know, doing what I'm, whatever I was doing at the time. And um, I Googled the guy and I saw that he was an American, at that time, the only American in North Korea as a prisoner. And I really like dug into it, you know? And yeah. I, I went upstairs to my wife and I was like, I'm gonna get this guy out. 
Mm -hmm. I thought I was nuts. That's it, you just made that decision. You, you read it I, and you Something said, happened inside of me, and I'm a very like, you know, I'm an energy driven type, as yeah. you know, individual, right? So yeah. something just kinda like me. connected. I can you feel know, this energy. Good. Uh, I don't feel it, but I'm sure I will in a few minutes. So, <laughs> no pun intended, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that came out like, pause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let me fast forward. I write his family a message, an email, and said, you know, I'm gonna help you if you need money, celebrities, A, B, C, and D. I, so they hired me to represent their family. I okay. spoke uh, to the UN twice. I've been, you know, traveling with, and I can't really go into too much yeah. detail, because uh -huh. this is being filmed. But, you know, I spent a lot of time, and, and I spent a lot of time with the nope, ambassadors no of the DPRK. <laughs> <laughs> you never, yo, man, this will be on TMZ tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it if you get drunk. No, please, no, I ain't gonna have it. It's water. It's water, water, water. Okay, good. So he, I spent eight months on this, and um, I met with the ambassadors from North Korea okay. on numerous occasions. I met with Madam Secretary Clinton. I met with you know the the, the poetess, and I put a lot of time and money behind it. Wow. I got a phone call one Saturday morning, and it was the ambassador from North Korea, and he said, "Say thank you." And at this point, I had spent about six months on CNN talking about it, yeah. you know? The same way we're kind of speaking about it. And uh -huh. uh, they said, say thank you. I said, why? And he said, turn on CNN. And I was, turn on CNN. I started to cry. I was like, yeah. I was just, you know, I, I, <laughs> I never met the guy, right? Yeah. And, and I, we've spoken since, but it, it was mm -hmm. something that allowed me to align myself with this positive energy, which is like, I know how to do this stuff. Yeah. And if you can relate to people one on one uh -huh. and take off the suit and tie, and I don't have, you know, I'm not running for Congress today. Yeah. Maybe one day, but. Okay, I'd it, vote for you. Yeah, thank you. And it, it, it works. I'll be a campaign manager. No, nah, that ain't going to happen, but I'll take your vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll open for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he said no to that either. So okay, that's whatever. the story. I'll so stay Canada in. Bay's out. He's out. He's home with his family in uh, Washington. Wow, that's, Dude, a, that's amazing. Huge. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome, that's yeah, awesome. Um, so, uh, before we finish, Love a drink. you're an NBA agent. Mm. Finals are going on right now. Mm. Who's gonna win the finals? Cleveland. Cleveland, why Cleveland? But if we can do, now ask the question again, and, and then you can edit this. Okay. So you make me look good when you put this. Okay, yeah, you know we'll, do it, later. So we'll do it later, we'll do it Ask the same question one more time. Okay, who's gonna win the finals? Golden State. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> the power of editing. That was great. That was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, David Sugarman. Thank Give you. it a round of applause for that. Stick around. We'll be right back with our musical performance.